Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to talk to you a little bit more about uh, compression and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do a frequency based compression. Uh, this is a little bit different than the last compression tutorial that I wrote which is uh, sidechain compression. Um, in this one what you're going to do is you're going to actually select a frequency that you're going to use um, to compress with. So essentially you're going to it's the same thing as ducking or sidechain compression except you're using the exact same source as your um, as your compression and you're gonna just duck out or cut out a specific frequency from that specific sound source uh, which essentially will be compressed so let's just start it off by creating a quick uh, Thor sequencer uh, we'll take a patch, a Thor patch. Uh, take something that's a little gritty. Um, now we're also going to take a matrix pattern sequencer. I'm just going to put in a random pattern to sequence it. Okay, that gives you an idea. It's pretty, it's pretty gritty. It's got a lot of different uh, tones in it and uh, gives us a good range so that we can actually work with it and uh, I can show you how this is done. Um, just to note, this is also a, a very easy way to DS your vocals, except if you ever heard me sing, you really don't want to hear it, so uh, that's why I'm not using my vocals in this. Um, so anyway, okay, select your sound source and then let's uh, create a Spider Audio Merger Splitter. Uh, we're also going to create a um, compressor and we're going to actually we're going to create actually no let's not do that let's first create the equalizer and then we will also create the compressor now let's flip around to the back I didn't want to do this so I'm just going to remove these um, the way it was originally set up is going to be like this. This is probably the way it's going to look for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these audios. These cables are going to go into your first split. You're going to send the output of the Thor into the Spider Merger Splitter. You're going to send one output into the equalizer. You're going to send another output into the compressor. And um, the other thing you are going to do is send the audio output of the equalizer into the sidechain input. Okay, and then finally you're going to take the output of the compressor and send that back up to your mixer here. Now, the reason why you don't have to have these, um, these original um, splits going to the mixer, and I'll show you why that is. Because what's happening is you're sending your audio into the splitter and it's getting sent both to the equalizer and the compressor and then that same signal that after it's been equalized the output is going to sidechain that main signal here so you're using the exact same signal to cut out part of its of itself basically so um, over here what we'll do is I'll set it up the way you'd normally set up a DSing device uh, and what I would do is put it relatively high, probably put it a little narrow, and the frequency is probably going to be around the 10 kilohertz range. So somewhere around there, that's going to be your, your DSing area. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the threshold of the compressor down. I'm going to move the ratio up, probably around 10 threshold down to anywhere within like you can even turn it down to 36 minus 36 you could turn it down to about 25 26 somewhere in that range would be fine um, also the attack is going to get very low P pull it down to one millisecond release you can leave that where it is um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the input by 1.5 and do the same thing on the output gain so somewhere around the same area so now what's going to happen is when you run this, this is being compressed.
Okay. Now, what I wanted to do, the reason why I had these other splits going out, is I just wanted to compare the two sounds together. So that's really all this is for. So this is um, the sound without the compression applied. And then the sound with the compression applied. So that's the, the way that... Um, that frequency-based compression works. Now you can do some pretty interesting tricks with this. For example, if you play this, you can actually play around with the frequency. Okay, you can move it out. So you can sweep the frequency if you want, you can sweep the gain. even increase the gain. The only thing you're going to have to remember is that this gain, um, it, it actually works in opposite to the way you would think that an equalizer works. Instead of um, increasing these frequencies, you're actually decreasing this frequency from the signal because it's going in through your side chain. So this is what's getting removed, not increased. Therefore, if you move the gain down, this is actually increasing. I believe that's the way this is working. At least that's the way it should be working. Yep, that'll remove the sounds. So that's the way you would uh, you would basically uh, compress based on your frequencies. Hope you've enjoyed this. Again, my name's Rob, and uh, come visit me at reason101.net, where you can find lots more tutorials like this. Thanks a lot for watching.